repeating the question once. As a Fatimanian, how do you internalize Our Lady of Fatima's University's noble dictum of improving man as man? I repeat, as a Fatimanian, how do you internalize Our Lady of Fatima University's noble dictum of improving man as man? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that the true aim of Fatima improving man as man is not just to give a great and high standard academic academic standards for students. But then, I believe that the true aim of Fatima University is to mold their students to become a man of character, a man of value, to put his heart, his character, and his efforts to all of the things he do in his life. I believe in the saying, try to be not a man of success, but to be a man of value. Thank you. Representing the Nursing Society, female candidate number nine, Katrina Nemo. Definitely. On her way, but we are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We are almost able to know who our new set of winners will be. Sir, in a few minutes from now, we will know who will be the next Mr. and Ms. Owen Lafayette QC 2014. And our representatives to the Inter Campus Competition in January. January. In February, I'm sorry. I stand corrected. There you have it. How are you feeling about the number nine? Feeling good. I'm so excited that I see my nursing society here. And my family. Okay, here's your question. You back at the number nine? Okay. As a father man, yeah. How do you internalize Our Lady of Fatima's noble dictum, improving man as man? I repeat, as a Fatimanian, how do you internalize Our Lady of Fatima's noble dictum, improving man as man? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, judges. As a Fatimanian, with the quote of improving man as man, I believe that I have succeeded such thing because I am here to help out all my fellow students to be a role model for everybody else and I believe that everybody here is a Fatimanian and can improve each other around us. That's it? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, female Thank you, number nine. Number nine, you can relax. Please, wow. Three female finalists remain. Now, let's proceed to our third female finalist, female finalist number six, Miss Amor Stewart. So again, this is one of the most important parts of any beauty beauty pageant, right? This is, this is the time that we know not only the voice and confidence of our candidates, but also the wit and intelligence that they possess. So, we are nearing the end, but we still have three more candidates, and she's on, one of them is on the way. And while waiting for her, let's again thank our sponsors, pageantvote.com, Dairy Queen, Smart, 
great image. And Urban smiles. Thank you to our generous sponsors for this year's uh, Mr. and Ms. Fatima Kids in Yes. And of course, we look forward to your active participation in the upcoming Intercapus competition this February. Okay. By the way, our candidates will be judged based on the following criteria personality, voice and bearing, fluency and articulation, wit, and overall impact. Here she is. There she is. Hello, Amor. Hello. So, I'll be asking you a question twice, so listen carefully. As a Fatimanian, how do you internalize Our Lady of Fatima's noble dictum, improving men as men? I repeat, as a Fatimanian, how do you internalize Our Lady of Fatima's noble dictum, improving men as men? Good evening, everyone. The Fatima's noble dictum, improving men as men means that we as a student don't need to do great things we can do small things to other people we can do simple things for them to have a great impact to others and making a great impact make, means having a great big difference in this world and i believe as a tourism student i will be able to showcase all those things to you when I won this competition. That's all. Thank you. Very well said, female candidate number six. Female candidate number six, representing Tourism Society. You can now relax back, back there. And let's wait for our four finalists. Two more female candidates. Two more female candidates. Let's proceed to candidate number eight, Eileen Tulo. Okay, once again, our candidates will be judged based on the following criteria. Personality, voice and bearing, fluency and articulation, whip and overall impact. So, this is uh, the second to the last finalist. Yes, sir. Finally, we can relax a little after a very tense competition. I know you are very eager to know our winners tonight, as we do. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we also would like to acknowledge the Council of Leaders who have been behind this event since day one. Let's give our Council of Leaders a round of applause. And sir, if you're ready, we would like to acknowledge the presence of our Mr. OLFUQC 2012, Mr. John Velasco. Good evening, John. Here is your question. I will, I will read the question twice. As a Fatimanian, how do you internalize Our Lady of Fatima University's noble dictum of improving